Hi friends, I'm Madhavta from Easy Approach and it's the 31st video of Flutter video series. In this video, we'll talk about drop down menu in Flutter. Like if the user has to choose one option from different options, you can use drop down menu. So now let's make things real. So firstly, what I'm gonna do, I will remove all the existing code of the default application. So go and remove the code. And now let's make our own brand new st stateful widget. So you can give any name, I'm giving it my drop down and now you have to give the reference of this newly created uh, stateful widget here so this is good and now what I need to do here uh, we firstly need to return the scaffold widget here and inside the scaffold I would like to have a container so that I can apply some padding to all the content that's inside it So you can apply the padding by using edge and set start all and you can give uh, whatever number you want and now in the child I'll make uh, a column widget and inside the column widget I would have uh, three different or two different widgets the first one would be the drop down uh, button uh, from which the user can select a particular option and we would have a tax widget as well below the drop down so that we can see uh, the selected value or the selected item from the user in the text view now say we want user a student in this case to select the major subject from different subjects so definitely we need to make drop down for it but before making the drop down we first need to define all the major subjects so that we can show it in the drop down and the user can, can select one so now let's make the list of a string uh, that would be subjects so come at the top and just make a final list And the list would be of type a string and you can name anything like subjects and for the sake of simplicity I'm just having three different subjects but you can give any number of subjects you want so let's say the first one is computer science which I love most and it's my major actually and the second one would be like biology And the third one would be like maths, but you can give anything. And now let's make the drop down uh, menu uh, for the application. And we call it in Flutter drop down menu button. So let's make drop down. So here it is drop down button, it is actually. Now we have to do a couple of things. Firstly, we need to define here the type of the drop down button. So as our drop down will be showing a string value, so we have to give here a string. And now we have to make some variables so that we can store the selected value from the user. So let's make a string variable. And let's give some name like selected subject. And initially it would be the first uh, object of this list so we can give here subjects as our drop-down will be showing uh, this uh, value initially so we have to give here the initial value so you can cut it or paste it here now it's fine now what we need to do first we need to give here value and we have to pass this variable here It's actually the currently selected value of the drop down and as I said the first object will be the initial selected value so that's why we have given here selected subject in which we have stored the first value. Now there's one more property that you must need to define and it's actually called on change. So it is called whenever the user would select uh, some new value. So you have to update your selected subject variable whenever the user would change the value. And here you'll get the value uh, which is actually the newly selected value so what you have to do you just have to call set state and inside the set state you just have to update your selected subject so you can do selected subject equals to value so that's it and now there is last thing that you must need to define in the drop down so that is called items property and you can see here we you, we have to define here list of uh, drop down menu item 
to show in the drop down but as you can see we have a list of a string we don't have the list of drop down menu item so we somehow need to map the list of a string into list of drop down menu item so we can do one thing we can use map method that we can apply on the list so you just have to use here subjects because we want to map our list of a string into list of drop down menu item now you have to use dot map and here you need to define the type in which you want to map your object into so we want to map our string value into drop down menu item so you have to give here drop down menu item and as the drop down menu item will be holding the string value so you have to give the type here as well and now here you'll get the value so this is your value of a string and now we have to return uh, the corresponding drop down menu item so now there's two property actually that you must need to define the first one is a child that you want to show on your drop down menu item that user can see so you just have to use her um, value and there's a property value And here we'll pass just value so this is actually the value that we are passing into so we have uh, uh, passed in the child of drop down item here this value in the text widget so that user can see it on the drop down and it is actually the value that we will get once the user selected the value so it is actually the value that user can see and when whenever the user would select some value we'll get this value so you can differentiate this but we are using same thing so now you have to use your semicolon so uh, let me tell you again so this map method uh, will map your string value into drop down menu item and now at last we have to do one thing as we need to pass here the list of drop down menu items so we have to call dot to list so it, it would convert your list uh, which is of a string into list of drop down menu item so now we can run this application and see the result so you can see here the drop down uh, button and you can see different options uh, and now we want uh, uh, to have some text with it so that we can see the selected value so I'm just going after drop down button and I'm just having a text widget and we can do one thing I want everything to be in center so we can use here cross axis alignment dot center we have to uh, define the width as well in order to make it in center so now if I refresh it so you can see it in center now it is good so now let's make uh, some tax widget so that we can see the selected result so let's make a text widget and we have stored the selected uh, subject here so you just have to pass this and let's uh, make it a little bolder so that we can see it properly So now let's refresh it now you can see the selected value uh, right uh, below this uh, drop down button so if I change this value so you can see here uh, the change in the text widget so this is it from this video in this video we have learned about drop down button so uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and if you like this video Please share the videos with those who want to learn Flutter with easy approach. And secondly, the most important thing, if you are new to my channel and you have watched my first video actually, so please subscribe my channel and go through, uh, go through the playlist of the video series and you'll find so many helpful things uh, to learn actually. So thank you for watching.